Episode 56 VR July 9, 2024. PM 2.5 and reduced IVF success rates. Polluting with burning at a library. In Episode 56 VR, 1. Idaho, Bellevue. 32-acre wildfire controlled west of Bellevue. 2. Michigan, Detroit. PM 2.5 and fireworks. Detroit's air quality, very unhealthy, following 4th of July fireworks. 3. New Hampshire. Rosep view. Rosep does not condone this method of public library heating and cooling, of burning polluting wood to heat and cool, a public library in New Hampshire. 4. Oregon. Medford. Air quality alert issued for Jackson County. Firewatch. KDRV.com keeps smoke clean indoors by not using wood burning stoves or furnaces. 5. Oregon. Multnomah County. Three Multnomah County cooling centers opening at noon Monday, July 8th, and Tuesday, July 9th. 6. Washington. Wenatchee. Sunday brush fire shuts down SR-17 west of Cooley City. 7. Utah. Salt Lake City. Piles of wooden pallets catch on fire at Logan Manufacturer Plant. 8. Canada. Alberta. Cochrane. Extreme heat prompts fire advisory in Cochrane. 9. Canada. Saskatchewan. Regina. Smoky air leads to special weather statement. 10. India. 33,000 lives lost annually due to pollution in these 10 Indian cities. YouTube. 527K views. Air pollution. Urban India silent killer. What makes PM 2.5 silent killer? Mirror now. New 137 views. 11. PM 2.5 and reduced IVF success rates. IVF means in vitro fertilization. Main content. 1. Idaho. Bellevue. 32-acre wildfire controlled west of Bellevue. MTExpress.com Idaho Mountain Express. Fire, which was located outside Wood River Fire and Rescue's jurisdiction. The Loon Fire was burning through grass, brush and timber about 33. 2. Michigan. Detroit. PM 2.5 and fireworks. Detroit's air quality, very unhealthy, following 4th of July fireworks. Fizz.org find particulate matter pollution, with particles smaller than 2.5 micrometers in diameter, drove the poor air quality Friday morning, according to the 3. New Hampshire. Rosep view. Rosep does not condone this method of public library heating and cooling, of burning polluting wood to heat and cool, a public library in New Hampshire. In fact, Rosep condemns this method of heating a library. In the past, Rosep has taken the view that satirizing the stupidity of continued unnecessary wood burning in a modern country with clean alternatives for home heating and home cooking is an effective way to critique polluting wood burning. However, these attempts at satire have been misunderstood at times with tolerating or even condoning indoor residential wood burning. Condoning indoor residential wood burning by Rosep could not be further from the truth. Rosep's primary mission is to condemn indoor residential wood burning, and Rosep will endeavor to be more clear about this viewpoint today and in the future. The facts that support condemnation of indoor residential wood burning, and in this case, indoor wood burning to heat and cool, a public library are as follows. Wood burning emits 450 times the PM2.5 as the fossil fuel natural gas burning. Wood burning emits 2.8 times the PM2.5 and CO2 as the fossil fuel coal burning. Wood burning emits 90% PM2.5, particulate matter of 2.5 micrometer size, the perfect size to infiltrate the human lung, setting off a cascade of human health problems and early deaths. The best alternative in 2024 is using a heat pump rebate of up to $8,000 based on a sliding income scale, which rebate is being rolled out by individual states in 2024, for example, in Wisconsin by September 2024. Heat pumps work down to 40 degrees below zero and can double as air conditioners. The best case scenario would be home or in this case public library heating with a heat pump powered by an electric grid that reaches all rural areas, powered by the truly clean energy sources of wind, solar, geothermal, or hydroelectric power. The best bridge to this truly clean energy source of a heat pump is a natural gas furnace. To repeat, a heat pump also doubles as an air conditioner. There is no need to use polluting energy source to cool a public library when heat pumps are available, as they are across the United States, with up to $8,000 rebates in 2024. The only reason for the opinion below is human greed, and valuing some economic incentive that is not described in this article, which makes a public service like a public library become sullied by unnecessary pollution in return for some perceived economic benefit, perhaps to the author of this article for encouraging using this energy source, wood burning, that leads to adverse health effects and early deaths. Looking more closely at this opinion piece, it is more clear that this is simply an advertisement for a company. Seeing the promotion of this wood chip silo attached to a public library, with the 42 tons of wood chips on view to see exactly how the air around a public library is polluted is shocking and depressing, as perhaps it was meant to be, as a show of force of backwardness and denial of what we have learned about the polluting effects of wood burning from scientific, statistical and disease research. From the New Hampshire Opinion article, or advertisement, setting fire to wood is a great way to stay warm, which is why human beings have been doing it ever. Granite Geek, burning wood to cool down the library. Yes, cool it. The wood chip silo at the Peterborough Town Library. Froling Energy. Excerpts edited by Rosep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates, a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Setting fire to wood is a great way to stay warm, which is why human beings have been doing it ever since we became human beings. But to my surprise, there's a place in New Hampshire where it's used to stay cool. It has been working great, said the director of the Peterborough Town Library. As part of a $3 million renovation completed in 2021, the library dumped its forced hot air system fueled by an oil fired boiler and replaced it with an absorption chiller that burns with chips. It heats water to make things warm in the winter, but in summer, makes cool water that gets piped into the building. To see the details, check out a 42-ton silo that www.yazakienergy.com slash waterfire.htm holds with chips. A quote from the article, I don't think the public is widely aware of it. So far as the opinion writer can tell, this is the only one in New Hampshire. 4. Oregon, Medford. Air quality alert issued for Jackson County. Firewatch. KDRV.com keeps smoke clean indoors by not using wood-burning stoves or furnaces. 5. Oregon, Multnomah County. 
Three Multnomah County Cooling Centers opening at noon Monday, July 8th, and Tuesday, July 9th. 6. Washington, Wenatchee. Sunday brush fire shuts down SR-17 west of Cooley City. News Radio 560 KPQ. Tip number one. Keep anything that can burn at least three feet from your fireplace or wood stove. Fire is burning. Make sure to have your alarms in. 7. Utah, Salt Lake City. Piles of wooden pallets catch on fire at Logan Manufacturer Plant. KSL TV. Multiple Cache County fire crews are battling a large fire involving several wooden pallets Sunday afternoon. 8. Canada, Alberta, Cochrane. Extreme heat prompts fire advisory in Cochrane. Cochrane now. The fire advisory means there is a moderate fire danger. Open fires. Indoor fireplace. Wood burning. You can find more details about the 9. Canada, Saskatchewan, Regina. Smoky air leads to special weather statement. West Central Online. PM on Sunday. A trough of low pressure is concentrating wildfire smoke and PM 2.5 and will be moving south and east throughout the night. Regina weather update. Air quality alert due to wildfire smoke. Net news ledger. A trough of low pressure is concentrating the smoke and fine particulate matter, PM 2.5, which will move south. 10. India. 33,000 lives lost annually due to pollution in these 10 Indian cities. YouTube. 527K views. Air pollution. Urban India silent killer. What makes PM 2.5 silent killer? Mirror now. New 137 views. 11. PM 2.5 and reduced IVF success rates. IVF means in vitro fertilization. Exposure to fine particulate matter can reduce IVF birth rate success, study reveals. News Medical. Importantly, the negative impact of air pollution was observed despite excellent overall air quality during the study period, with PM10 and PM2.5, ESHRE 40th Annual Meeting. Air pollution linked to a decrease in IVF birth rate success. PR Newswire. Increasing PM2.5 exposure in the three months prior to oocyte retrieval was also associated with decreased odds of live birth, falling from 0.90 inches. Air pollution linked to decreased IVF success. Health Tech World. Exposure to fine particulate matter, PM, prior to the retrieval of increasing PM2.5 exposure in the three months prior to egg retrieval. Air pollution linked to a decrease in IVF birth rate success, new study shows. Eureka Alert. Particulate matter, PM2.5 and PM10. Exposure prior to oocyte collection is associated with decreased live birth rates and subsequent frozen embryo.